Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Ashlyn. Today I'm so excited because I'm doing a Lululemon shoe reveal of first impressions try on for you guys with low socks with high socks i'm so excited about this if you didn't know already lululemon is launching a full collection of shoes they're starting with shoes made for women specifically and here i have the new bliss feel shoe i'm so excited to be showing it to you guys today i have early access because i work at lululemon but these guys will launch on march 22nd and i will be sure to link it in my community here on youtube so make sure you're subscribed um, and give this video a like if you want to see a review after having worn it a couple of weeks. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is what it looks like. It's a box in a box. Um, you get your little packing slip and this is what the shoe box looks like. Super sleek and cute, minimal. Okay, so opening it up. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Wow. Tissue paper, it says feel all over it. And, oh my god, this is what the shoes look like. Wow, this is so bright. Okay, so these are the Blissfield shoes in the shade Flare. So, wow, this is how they look. Oh my god, they're so lightweight, too. Wow, I'm actually so excited, guys. Okay, so the, the bottom is black. It has a Lululemon logo there. The logo is also on the inside and at the back, and I believe this is a reflective detail. There's also a logo at the front here, at the toe. Okay, wow, so this is how they look. Here is the other shoe. This color is so vibrant, wow. Okay, so just based on first impression, the sole is very grippy. This is made for running specifically, and just the silhouette is so nice. It's also like very wide at the bottom, so like the sole comes out on both sides and at the heel, so it's very supportive. Wow, I'm just like really excited about this. This is such a cool shoe. It comes in 10 different colorways, which is amazing, and there's definitely a color for you. So this is in the color Flare, um, which is a bright neon red with white and a black sole, and I got the size 7.5. Okay, so let's break down the design details. What actually makes this shoe designed for women? Well, in the three to four years of testing, Lululemon actually based their design off of over 1.2 million scans of women's feet. On average, women's feet are more narrow in the heel and toe area, and they usually have a higher arch compared to men's feet. In fact, most shoes on the market, 90% or more, are actually designed for men's feet and then scaled down to have a women's sizing. Whereas Lululemon took this different approach and designed it just specifically for women, and all shoes were exclusively tested by women as well. There's four main components that we can talk about with regards to the design of this shoe and the technical elements. So component number one is the upper. That is the part that goes over the top of your foot. It has the laces and everything. There's so much engineered mesh that is what this upper is made out of. So in the midfoot area, that's the main middle part of your shoe. There's the midfoot frame, which is those two darker lines that go down the sides. And then there's a tight knit and an open knit in very strategic areas to make sure that your foot feels supported and held in, but also open knits to have that breathability as you run. We also have those heel clips to keep you centered and keep your foot balanced. Those are, well, on my shoe, the red swooshes that go all the way from the midfoot area to the heel. And then we have the insole area. So that is the inside where your foot touches the bottom of your shoe. There's an extra two millimeters of foam in the forefoot part to make it feel more comfortable. And the midsole has this foam that's designed to really give you that energy absorption and return to make your runs very comfortable. The outsole is the part that touches the ground, and as you can see, there's these modules sort of at the bottom of the shoe. The three modules that you see um, at the toe tip of the shoe and also the tube with the logo and the heel, those are made with high abrasion resistant rubber for traction and giving you that really good grip on the ground. And then the middle modules are actually made with a blown rubber in the center for balance and flexibility. 
Okay, and that is it for today's video. I will for sure be doing a part two with a review and just any other thoughts after having worn the shoes out and about and for runs and at the gym for a couple of weeks. So if you're interested in seeing that, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what color you're going to get or if you have any other questions. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.